What's up guys, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com Today we're going to take a look at the intro section of Voodoo Child Slide Return by Jimi Hendrix and uh, the rest of the lesson, the full lesson can be purchased at GuitarForce.com uh, You get the full video lesson along with the tabs and the backing track so if you're interested the link is going to be in the description box down below Also if you're interested in learning how to play in the style of Jimi Hendrix I have this huge lesson in two parts which is called Get Experienced and I'm gonna also leave the links in the description box down below go ahead and check it out finally if you would like to check out the cover playthrough of this song I'm gonna post it to my other channel and again the links are gonna be in the description box down below and on the screen now back to the lesson this song is gonna be in half step down tuning so tune down all of your, all of your strings half step down half in E flat and um, for the sound I was using, the VST plugin guitar rig, and I'm going to show you the uh, picture of the preset in uh, just a moment. But also, I was using a, a little overdrive pedal uh, by OCD and the wah pedal as well. Uh, so, while you're checking out the picture of the preset, here is my low E for your tuning reference. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's check out the intro part, then we're gonna come back, close up and start the lesson. So the very beginning of this song starts off with uh, some rhythmical patterns uh, played on the dead strings and also using the wah, obviously. So the way you do it is you mute the strings with your left hand or with the fretting hand and then rocking the wah in a specific way so you open it up and close it down and also using different strings while playing the pattern. So you might start off on the lower strings with the with the wah closed uh, or with the treble off and then when you go for the um, higher strings you would open the wah alright so you get this and uh, also it depends which version you are listening to you're gonna get uh, different patterns every time because Jimmy you know would uh, play different patterns every time uh, if you listen to any live versions or to the uh, to the studio version uh, he would use different patterns so um, on the backing track that um, I played to um, it's you know it, it's done just like uh, the uh, studio version which contains it goes like this it, it, it's got three bars of 4-4 four, four, and then also a pickup bar three bars of 4-4 four, four, and then we have one bar of 3-4 so um, rhythmically you know it, it kinda it can put you off you know and could be a little bit uh, difficult to play or follow along so what I would suggest you do is you listen to your favorite version or the version that you can remember the pattern to right and then um, you know if you're playing it to the uh, backing track just try to figure out uh, on which beat is gonna um, fit right the whole thing like for me for example when I was using this backing track I had to start it, it's got a f um, four bits count in so for me what I had to do is um, I had to start on the fourth counting of that one two three and then four on the four I would start 
and I took the pattern that Jimmy used in Woodstock. I mean, it's not note for note, but it's very close, and that's that's what I have in my head. So that's what I suggest you do. You you know learn or just remember the pattern that you like from any version and uh, try to you know you have to play with the backing track a little bit to uh, to see which pattern and where it's gonna fit. So that's the suggestion I can give you about the um, that the beginning pattern that the, the uh, rhythmical pattern played on dead strings, and then we go into the melody. Uh, which is a riff that uh, we're gonna break it in two parts and again it's played with the with the wah pedal and again Jimmy would play this pattern differently every time um, you know the bulk of the riff would stay uh, the same but uh, he would change it here and there um, you know different notes so um, the first part of the riff goes like this, and I'm going to disengage the wah so you can hear the, the notes actually. So it goes like this. So that's the whole pattern. Now we're going to break it down into two parts. The first part we're going to play like this. So it starts off on the G string, we hammer on onto the uh, ninth fret from 7, and it's kind of grace note actually. Then we go to D string playing uh, 7 to 9, 7 on G, then we go to the D string 5th fret, and we uh, pick it two times, and you can also add a little bend here on the first note. Then we have a pull off 7 to 5 on the same string, going to 7 on uh, the A string. So, so far we got this. Then we repeat again. Sorry. So, again, we have um, hammer on onto the 9th fret. It's a hammer on, or you can just play the 9th fret. Like I said, you know, every time Jimmy would use different patterns. So, um, uh, ninth fret on the G string, then we have again 7 to 9 on the D. And then we go to the ninth fret on the G again, so we have this. Then we play low E string open, and then we play kind of power chord here. So we have. Okay, so the second part. And also, uh, notice where I add the vibrato on certain notes. Now, on the studio version, for example, Jimmy would play it uh, differently. He would play... So, as you can see, the last note, for example, he would play the notes and then slide down uh, to the seventh fret without playing the, the uh, power chord. But, you know, like I said, every version is played slightly different differently so you know uh, you can add other notes as well if you listen to uh, a certain version so that's the first part uh, that's the first riff and uh, just gonna play one more time the whole thing <laughs> For example, you know, we repeat the whole thing again, just like we did in the beginning, but uh, in the end, instead of playing, I played. So, this is one variation, a slight dif slightly different. So, instead of going to the 9th fret on the G string, I go to the 8th fret on the B, and we have a slight bend here. And then again, followed by a chord. So, basically, we play this riff for two times. Then we play it one more time uh, with the drums now. So we've got the uh, the bass drum going. You know, it's kind of following the guitar. So we have again. Now a few variations here, um, and what I did on uh, when I was doing the uh, playthrough of the cover. 
uh, instead of playing that note on the G string, I would play the uh, trill. So the trill would be between seven and nine, and Jimmy did that. For example, if you listen to the Woodstock, you know he did that as well. And also when playing going to the A string 7th fret, sometimes he would pull uh, to the 5th fret, so he would play then with the drums Okay, so here at the ending we have, sorry, so we play the first part of the riff again and then we have, so it's uh, 9 frets on the G string, so we'll go two times uh, picking the 9th fret on the G string, then we'll go 7 to 9 on G and then we have which is on the B string bend 10th fret bring it down 8 9 on G and slide down so all together one more time the whole thing without the wah would be like this So that was the intro of um, very beginning, you know, with the uh, uh, with the uh, dead strings, and then the melody itself. And then we go into the main part of the song of the main riff, which goes like this. Okay, so here. We have the main riff, which starts off. Um, it's it varies again uh, slightly. Uh, Jimmy would play slightly differently each time. So when he did that uh, in studio version, he would play the chord. So everything is based on the E chord here. Um, so he would play the chord two times, and then he would go into this. Bend on the G string, 2nd fret, bend it up, bring it down, pull off, and then play the chord again. And then you kind of pick the chord in different places, and then we have a slight bend on the 3rd fret on the low E, and getting back to the chord again. Now in Woodstock he would play it slightly differently instead of going right into the he would play so you see he would play the chord and then he would play the uh, bends on the third fret of the low E string going to the chord and then he would add the uh, the bend on the G string bring down pull off to the open and play the chord. So, you know, again, he would um, play different rhythms here on, uh, on this riff. Uh, but the main thing... So it's based everything on the E chord. Uh, you pick lower strings, uh, add the... Um, bend on the third fret, it's a slight bend, then open strings, high E, B, while still keeping that chord, and a lot of times he would uh, get rid of that A string, so it would be, would be dead, he would just play like that, so, and adding this, you know, bend on the G string, bring down, pull off, and play the chord, so one more time, um, the studio version.
So after that, after we play this um, riff in the beginning, we then go to this iconic lick that he does uh, in the intro of the song. So it's on the G string, 14th fret, bend it up, bring it down, then again bend up, bring it down, pull off to the 12th fret. Again, uh, he would use he would use you know some slides here on the low E string. That's the next lick uh, that Jimmy does. So he gets back to the E power chord. I'm sorry, it's the E major chord. And then he does a, a long bend here on the G string 2nd fret and while he does the bend he would switch the uh, pickups uh, by using the uh, pickup selector here switch uh, between uh, the, uh, the bridge and the neck pickups so you get that sound alternatively you can use the wah and just do it's more pronounced like that. Okay, so after this bend on the G string, then we have the long bend and switching between the pickups, we then get back to the riff again. And then after that we have this lick which goes So this lick goes like this, we bend the B string on the 15th fret, full step And then we pick 12 on high E And we do it two times Then we have So it's a bend on the G string, 14th fret and then we have quick hammer on, the first note is grace note, so it's 12, 15, 12 on a B string, then back to G string, we have 14 fret, bend up, bring it down, pull off to 12, 14 on D, back to the G string, 12, 14, bend up, 15 on B, another bend on the G string, 14 fret, then quick pull off 14 to 12, 14 on D, and then we play again repeating this lick which is uh, 14th fret G string bend up bring it down pull um, pick it on the 14th fret then again bend up and then play 12 so all together this lick slowly goes like this And then we get uh, back to the uh, main riff. So here I just did a little lick that Jimmy did at Woodstock uh, while playing the riff. So you go up to the 14th fret, so basically you do kind of the same thing but uh, an octave higher and you play on the 14th fret, you can use like a double stop here on the D and the G strings then you play and you alternate that with the 15th fret on the low E string kinda you know um, substituting that uh, third fret on the low E which is the same notes actually you know kinda this thing Alright guys, so that was it for this part, I hope you liked it. If you would like to learn the rest of the lesson, the link is in the description box down below, go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you like this lesson, please hit the thumbs up button, also comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again, take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.